Hey everybody, it's Wilkeson13, and I swear to God, I actually lost footage of me beating the first two heads, yeah, on Orochi, so I actually have to, yeah, you didn't miss much, actually, all you do is then his barriers down, you make him roar, you put the eight purification socket in his mouth, and then you power slash his heads, or you drag the fire to his heads. Except for the first head, you can't do that. You have to power slash it or use, like, exorcism slips or something. Anything to really damage him. Alright, yeah. And Infinity Stones work great for this, so... Plus, this thing, this boss is actually, like, pretty big joke. This, I... Honestly, I'll say, like, what the fuck, you know? Well, my god, but it is gone. Shit. Alright, so half of him is done already. Uh, this one didn't even attack me. The lightning head is the stupid head. Yeah, it's not the brightest bulb in the bunch. I guess you could say that. And pretty much like, all the heads are like super weak to fire. Yeah, you put out his fire, man. And he's like done. Alright, so this, this water head. He'll go ahead and yay. I oh, know, can you draw water lilies? Yes, you can. That's pretty dang epic. Yeah, the waterhead? Super weak to fire. Alright, two heads left. See, this, this we're making quick work of Orochi. This is not even a difficult boss. Yeah, really. If you think this is a difficult boss, then damn, you're in for something. Because this only is like the halfway point of the game, actually. Maybe not even halfway point. I think it's only like the one-third point of the game. It's... Yeah, it's only like the one-third. Yeah, point of this game. This game. Yeah. It's really long. Oh, yeah. I didn't have my ex... Or my... Not my exorcism. Quickly. But yeah, see, I've only used two exorcisms left in this fight, which isn't that bad. Well, one, if you want to do the bell really efficiently, then just, yeah, use an exorcism. I meant, like, on the heads. Yeah, I only use one exorcism slip just to get rid of it. Okay, so I want that to boost that up. And see, I've got the soul socket. So now, I have a bunch of shit, you know. So, yeah, okay. So now we have the dark head. If you don't bloom those, it'll go into, like, a really dark mode where you lose all your ink. Regardless of if, regardless of if you have, you know, anything else. Like a infinity stone up. Okay, so this is the last head. And there you go. Say not much. Time has come. O oh, sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Toen Baku. Did he say the moon? Right, the legend says the moon was shining when Nagi slew Orochi. It's so now, yeah, and this is us like a hundred years ago. Howling, and then that's Nagi. So now we have to, history will repeat itself, clouds will dissipate, and draw a crescent in the sky.
and a flower bloom. Susano style blade of truth. Good. And now you have to use power size here. Will. Never. Give. Oh shit. No. Now he's all battered. That, is that the best you can do? I shall show you how a real man fights. Good. Will. Never. Give. In. To. Evil. Finish it off, honey. No, Fido. I don't need your help this time. So he knew the whole time. Now for the ultimate in Susano style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver. And he catches Kushi. Dearest Kushi, just as you devote your life to sake brewing, the way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, Susano, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh. Like you normally do. Look like... Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. And now, we get our first glaive in the game. You obtain Divine Instrument, su Sumagari. Tilt the wear remote up and hold for a charged attack with Orochi's glaive. And now, what's happening? And so it came to pass that 100 years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amaterasu and Susano's onslaught. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting, a powerful sword known as Sumagari appeared. It was the reborn form of Tsukiyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu prepared for further adventure. At the moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse, splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. And at the t at the time, no one had any inkling as to just what the force was. The truth is, the real calamity and the chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being. Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it is just beginning. Yeah, that series is only like a third of the way over. In fact, it's just beginning. That's right, Ami. We're just getting started. <laughs> actually, yeah. Um, no, actually, this marks like almost the halfway mark. But a little less, like, like, I don't know how to phrase this. Like, one and two halves of the game. Like, yeah, in between one third and one half. I don't know. So that's it for me, goddamn.
Um, yeah, we've been recording. I've been recording a lot tonight. Just like, oh snap! Damn. Anyway, <laughs> um, at last, at last, the time has come. The unserverable boss between heaven and earth. Walk out the situation has grown urgent. You must return to the city at once. Trey's the end. Um, if you don't know, I'm not gonna spoil this. But, um, many people think this is, like, you know, devious, and, like, oh, Waka's evil, but actually, you'll find out what this is, this, yeah, thing is, that's talking to him, yeah, later, um, like, later, later in the game. Ah, oh, man, I still want to spoil it right now. Yeah, but it may seem like he's evil, but he's actually, yeah, a good guy, and, um, technically, yeah, the queen of Nippon is contacting Waka, saying, you must get back to the capital city. The situation has grown urgent here, because, as you know, the spirit that emerged from Orochi's body after we killed it flew off in all different directions, and one of the directions was, was the city that the queen's in. So, yeah. So, I'm not trying to ask so may have slain Orochi this time, but do not assume it will be so easy to the next. Yep, we're gonna have to fight him not one, not two, but three times by the end of the game. Yeah, it's gonna get annoying because it's the exact same fight three times. Hooray for the cycle of bosses. Anyway. Of the brush gods are just waiting to be found. And so now they've found an alibi about Orochi's defeat. The villagers are... Oh no, it must already be the festival. They're gonna get started on the annual Kamiki festival. Oh yeah, time to party for a ball. Back to the village, hurry. Did I save the game? Of course. Yeah, we still have all our stuff up. So, yep, this is the Kamiki Annual Festival. You can talk to people. You can do stuff. Um, there's a really funny thing I actually want to show off. If you go up to Saki's tree, Hey, look, I never knew this was here. What is this? Hey, dragonfly bead. Yep, you can just dig up without worry. You can dig up her entire turnip garden. Um, yeah, Kokari Ume. Yeah. Kokari's dad. Everyone just freaking. Yeah, it's just here. But yeah, actually, if you go up to Sophie's tree, every time you restore a guardian sapling, you get a fruit on the tree. And if you cut this fruit down, you get a reward. But check out Tama, and he's like, hey there, caught the festival scent, and thought you'd come to play, huh? Well, what do you think? You like my latest work? Nothing, nothing like seeing them up close. Don't get too close, though. Get ready to be nice. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky. The fabled duo specular. He discovers his ear. Amaterasu. Ethan. Whoever that guy is. Gaha. There you are. Impressive, eh? Yeah, thanks for honoring me. Um, and so these guys are the Kamiki Festival. But, yeah, and here comes Sakuya, and she'll be like, Great Mother Okami and Madarasu, I'm filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear that the final chapter of Orochi has been written. 
The entire village in, is in your debt. Please accept our thanks. That said, what a splendid evening. Even I'm feeling a bit intoxicated by the festival spirit. Okay. Ashley, you're going to want to go around. And after you revive a guardian sapling, of course, you can cut these down. And Golden Beach, yeah. Golden Beach, good. Bullhorn. Yep, so each time you restore a guardian sapling, yep, you get a fruit and it'll give you a treasure and a crystal. Sometimes it'll be like something useful. Alright, and see this. So. Alright, let's see. Wow! Look, sis, look, the fireworks are awesome. Yeah, we're so lucky to display like this on our, on our travels. I could just give up on traveling and stay here forever. Yeah, but we won't really stop traveling, will we? <laughs> yeah, you have to come back after the Kamiki Festival. wanted to show. What? What a joyous evening. Okay. Okay, so if we go back, um, speed up music time. Alright guys, we're back here. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna completely restore this river. Alright, now that the river is completely restored, except for that little speck right there, what the hell? Alright. Now that the river is completely restored, I know I've probably bored you guys to death, but okay. Because okay, so there's a really funny thing back here. Um. that I wanted to show off that was kind of funny. So, yep, Susano makes off with Kushi because, you know, he saved her life, damsel in distress, yay, right? It's the classic damsel in distress story, so he makes off with her and thinks that, yeah, the cave of Nagi will be their private place and their Susano's gonna try and get laid or something, I don't know. <laughs> something. And so up ahead, here they are, and they're in love. Yes, they're in love. Now check this out. Talk to them each three times. Oh, it's you again. I see you sniff me out once again, you little much. Well, I suppose um, I should thank you. I may be the greatest swordsman ever and an ascendant not of not be. But this, well, this great deed would have not been possible without a follower. When, he, when do we become his follower? I commend your valor. Let's become brothers in arms. Brothers in arms. Don't be bashful. Let us pray before Nagi's statue. Our, we are now inseparable brothers in arms. What an auspicious day, right, brother? Susano and his trusty dog, brother. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, Pops, this here is a wolf, not a dog. And <laughs> this one has a name, too. It's a Matarasu. 
Oh, you take good care of my brother, Little Bug. My, my good mutt here may have a pretty strange face, but you'll still mustn't forget you are dealing with higher royalty. Ha ha. What did you just say? I didn't see I talked to him. Yeah, anyway. No need to worry. I'm protecting the peace here in Kamiki Village. Behold, don't hand buck you. I now have rechristened it Susano Blossom. With this spirit blade, I shall grant evil, whether it may be. You bet you wish you had one of these instead of that divine instrument. So, you were able to see Ani's true form from the beginning? Hmm? You again? Bye. You can't do anything without me. Listen up, you two. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of something important with, with Kushi. You get my drift? That's Graham. Yep, so he's like, Bell? Are they, like, taking off clothes? What? It looked like they're taking off their clothes. Oh, it's you, Snowy. And he's soon too. How brave you both for. What the hell is Lotto doing? Everyone here in the village is so grateful to you. We really can't thank you enough for bringing us peace at last. Oh, come on, sweetie. Everyone plays their part in dangerous times like these. There's no need for us to go around thanking each other. Very well, you soon. Thank you. Now tell me, Snowy. You're really just an ordinary wolf. The broken mill suddenly fixed spring water flying into the barrel. So many strange things have been happening since you came along. And are you certainly know and you certainly know how to put up a good fight too. The fight? What fight? Oh, you meant that brawl authority? Maybe you're kinda you're a kinda god here to keep us peace peace. Alright. But I know you'll you you would not want people to make a fuss, so I've been careful not to tell anyone too much about you. You can relax here in our village, whenever you want, Snowy. What the hell are they doing? Oh, great. I just want to fit this thing because this is hilarious. And, oh, have you seen enough of the festival already? Oh, God. Festival already. Boy, Ani, you just don't get it, do you? I think they want to be alone. Nudge, nudge, wig, wig. What are they doing? Are they, are they undressing or something? I think they are. The hell are they doing? What the fuck? I, I, I don't even know what the hell they're doing right now. Oh my god. What the hell are they doing? Are they undressing? Okay, guys, if you would be kind enough to, like, leave a comment or something, or, like, tell me what the fuck is going on, are they, I know, like, yeah, they're in love, so, yeah, that'd be obvious, but are they, are, I mean, obviously, they'd be boyfriend, girlfriend, but, gee, it's no sex before marriage, I don't see a ring on her finger, goddamn, Susano, you're, you're a playa, yes, I think they're undressing. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think they're undressing for sex. I'm not sure. See so yeah, if I just wanted to show that, like, geez, I mean, you just can't take a hit. Nudge, nudge. I think they want to be alone. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, hit, hit. Yeah. So now they're going to go have sex and they're going to create a child. Alright, my controllers are acting up, so I will just see you guys in the next episode of Okami. Wait, before I go, goddamn, these controllers are so bitch, I swear to god. Alright, but before I go, I know this is the longest episode I have ever made. This is like a half an hour. Oh, I know, right? Dude. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to show the rest of the Kamiki Festival before we go out. So yeah, I made a half an hour long episode. I don't know why I did. Maybe I'll split it in two. Um, I'm not sure though. You know, like, maybe I'll split it into two episodes. But I'm not sure. And I don't even know why I am up so late, really. I'm never up, like, past two, even on, like, weekends. This is, like, so rare for me. I don't even know why the hell I'm so up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't draw water lily because any anything you draw within the vicinity yep within the vicinity 
of here is counting as rejuvenation. So you check this out. Star, star. Yep. Oh wow. So I might just split this into two parts, I'm not sure though. Alright, people. That was so funny. I never noticed that. Are they like undressing or something? Yeah, Kushi, let's go. Fuck yeah. I know we're a place where we can be alone and we can no one will bother us. And it's not at my house with my door locked. Of course not. Of course not. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, at my house with the door locked, kept the entire village screaming at me and everything out because they would need a key. Yeah, which they don't have. And I would have to open it from the inside. So, yeah, they could yell and scream, but nothing would happen. Right? No one would ever see us. Yeah. <laughs> Or we can go to the cave of Nagi. There, lay you can lay on the dirty ass ground, and I can hump your ass, and and maybe someone will see us because, well, the cave of Nagi is open to everyone, and tourists. Who? Yeah, there are so many tourists around here. Yeah, for the Kamiki Festival, we'll just wander in and be like, oh, you're just out of here humping the shit out of Kusi. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, that's just a little tidbit, um, because yeah, you you want like if you want to find like all the people in the Kaneki Festival, yeah, and like talk to them all. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah you can. Oh, she, she's all fired up about that whole digging record again. Even Ume is no match for Hayabusa's holding move skills. Well, I guess I have my own challenges to face too. This might be my last time I play with Mushi. You see, I want to face new challenges. I want to see the world become a real man, just like Susano. But I'll never forget the time we spent fishing together, doggy. So, I know it was you, Slew, and Dragon Dora. She was quite a feat. Ah, oh, shucks. We had a lot of help from Susano, too, you know. And then Hayabusa. You feed her, Roshi. I'm sorry, I was too busy with my own duties to help you. Oh, relax. A dog's gonna do what a dog's gonna do, right? So, yep. So, yeah, if you just wanna, like, find everyone. Hey, it's new. It's the new king of the whole big game snowing. I'm gonna be, be best friends with Hayabusa forever. After all, he did save my life. We're gonna dig up turnips like there's no time. Yep, wreck your mother's garden. And I love these guys. These guys just getting drunk. But, yeah. Mr. Bamboo, uh, are you well, Wolf? Thank you, this is good. I'm enjoying a celebratory drink. Uh, look at the crescent moon. Reminds, reminds me of Kaguya. Yeah, she'll be important. She's his, um, granddaughter. But not technically. She is actually adopted. Anyway, well, not really adopted. He just took her in. Anyway, do you know anything about her, Wolfie? I think about you. Yes, I do. Oh, sure. Yeah, but we do know stuff about Kaguya, so what the hell? He, yeah, he said, he asked, do we know anything about Kaguya? Because, you know, he kind of disappeared from her one day. Um, because he had, he was sentenced by the emperor to go to the capital city. And then he was all like, and then he never saw her again. And so he's like, hey, do you know anything? And then she, yeah, and then she's just all like, well, well, yeah, I know. I know, because I played through the first, you know, first file, right? And then he's just all like, no, that's impossible. But we do know stuff. Huh? Got ch just ch chase the monsters off your territory, have you? 
You know the festival is a time to honor our sacred tea tree, Konohana. Maybe the god smiled on us, lent you their strength, ha ha ha. And then this guy is the nameless man. Hey friend, where have you been? Did you hear about that Susano and that monster man? Freaky. He used to do his best to avoid trouble. I'll drink a toast to him, the brave warrior. Yep, y'all are getting drunk. Alright, so guys, that was the Kamiki Festival, and Susano and them are not home. So, yeah, you can't do anything about that. Oh, I love this. If you try and draw the sun in the sky. Are you trying to draw the sun right now? It would be such a party pooper. The perfect night for a festival. See? Maybe you draw a moon. Can't draw a moon. See, so yeah, you can't draw a moon, though. Alright guys, on the next episode of Ka Okami, we will be doing, um, we'll progress with the game. Now that we can, there is actually a new place that we can go to, and it is called... Drumroll please. Ryoshima Coast, yeah. Um, we can now go to Ryoshima Coast. So we will be doing just that in the next episode, alright? See you guys then.